guys, it's me, Jago, and today we're gonna cook some food. So, the first thing we gotta do is take the jalapeno poppers out of the oven. Now, I don't have an oven mitt, but you can use one of those if you got one at home. Oh, yeah. Just perfect. They haven't burnt. They're a little bit crispy. All oh, right, look at that. Look at that texture. It's, it's. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's sizzling. It's, it's amazing. Ooh, it's getting hot. <laughs> All right. So, coming for a close up here. Let's, let's see what we're working with. The first ingredient you're gonna need if you're gonna cook this at home is those jalapeno poppers that we took out of the frit oven just a second ago. St oven. And the other things you're going to need, I've got right here. First of all, we've got some goat cheese, goat cheese, some seven layer dip, and some buns, and some 100% Canadian honey. Now, I don't like the honey, so I'm not going to use it in mine. So, here, I've got a plate here. This is what we're going to be doing most of the work on. I'm going to want to take one of those buns. Check that out. Okay, then just rip it open. Rip. Rip. There you go. Perfect. There you see. Easy. Simple. Okay. Now we've got the seven layer dip. There, you just gotta take off all that funny plastic. Isn't it interesting how much packaging you uh, you can find? I just grabbed a spoon. How much packaging that they put on things in the store that you buy these days? Weird. We I don't get it. Maybe one of you gets it. Okay, so now don't be shy. Don't be shy. We're gonna. You're gonna want to put a. Uh, a good spoonful of that seven layer dip in the center of that sandwich there. Got the olives, tomato. Ooh, get some of that tomato. Yeah. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm gonna sneak one of those poppers. Hello, mannequin head. Oh, hey, Drago. Do you think I could have one of those poppers? Why not? Let's share. Okay, so for this sandwich, we're done with seven layer dip. And now, we're going to want to take one of these jalapeno poppers. Now, just, well, is it fully cooked? If it's fully cooked, and that was fully cooked, put two right there on the sandwich. Easy, right? Okay, now I'm gonna be using a goat cheese, which is really, really tasty. It's gonna accentuate the pepper. I find that spicy things go well with creamy things. I think you'll, we can all agree. And, okay, but you can use any sort of cheese you want. I'm just gonna use a regular pair of scissors. These are kind of small, but you can use any size of scissor. It's it's not the size of the scissor, it's how you use it. Scissors. So, okay, just open it up here. Quick, uh, quick note about safety, about food safety. You gotta wash your hands, clean the surfaces, and generally just make sure that you're cooking in a safe environment. Okay, there we go. So, we are ready to spoon some of this. Oh, I've got a knife, but we're going to knife some of this onto the sandwich. All right, so join me over here. Let's see it in action. There we go. Nice and cheesy. Spread that on the side of the bun that we haven't used so far. And it, you know, it doesn't really matter what side you put it on, because when you close it, there really aren't any sides anymore. People forget sometimes when they are. 
considering sandwiches. I'm talking about sandwiches. Okay. Alright. So, here's where, if you wanted to, if you were going to do it, you could add some honey. I don't like honey. So there you go. There's the sandwich. Simple, wasn't it? Simple but tasty. And that's the key. Taste. There you go. Just fold that up like, like I did. There you go. Sorry, lighting's not very good. Here. Ah, oh, there we go. Check it out. Ooh. Oh my god, that looks good. And I am looking forward to sinking my teeth into this beautiful sandwich. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jogo. I've been Jogo, and this is... Bon Appetit.